Hello people and welcome to Just Stopping by 1am. During a road trip in a foreign country, you and your friend stop at a convenience store in the middle of nowhere, get some snacks, use the restroom and get back on the road, if you can. So here goes. Good evening, Sleeping Beauty. You really slept through the whole ride. I was getting hungry, so I decided to make a little stop here and buy some chips. Even though this place looks shady as fuck. Hey, I heard you talking in your sleep. It didn't sound nice. Wanna talk about it? No? Alright, well, if you need to piss, I can wait. I'm just gonna go at the hotel. Public restrooms are nasty. But don't take too long. Do it on... Off we go. Germany looked better on the postcards. Gassed and rast. I just need to pee. Alright. This door is locked. I think I should go and ask for a key. Excuse me, I require key. Hello, welcome and beg us, son. Oh, my bad, we're not used to customers that aren't from around here. Actually, we had one just now. Perhaps you are with that blonde lady. Anyways, how can I help you? You need to use the restroom. You're really brave. I think it's disgusting. It gets cleaned like once a week. Please make sure to not lose the keys. The last guy who took them didn't bring him back. Here, take him. Thanks. Now I can take a piece. In peas. Well, that is disgusting. Much better now. Oh. Where am I? Literally ended up in back rooms. Oh no. Hello? Something fell out of it. It's a blue crystal. I wonder what I can do with this. What the hell is this? Here's another one. A red crystal dropped on the ground. As expected or suspected. Now what? Oh. I still need a green one, apparently. Here's the green one. This is the third crystal dropping out of these structures. A green one. I feel observed. There are evil entities prowling about. Whoa! I gotta get out of here. The bathroom keys I got earlier fit into this. Hello? The black one or the clear one? Can I take it back? No.
darkness, sorrow, agony. You will descend. Thank you for participating, blimey. Descending and ascending. Why can't I just go back to my fucking life? Anyway, that was actually very atmospheric, more than I thought. Never expected to get into the back rooms like that. Very interesting. It did have all the basics of a back room, except it was missing a creature. Except in the end. But it would have been cool to have one around while you're walking pointlessly to find these gems. Would have made a would have made it a bit more exciting. Anyway, it's not bad at all. If you liked it, link will be in the description and on to the next one. Welcome to Fear the Spotlight. Fear the Spotlight is a third-person PSR-inspired survival horror game where you hide from the monster, solve puzzles, and look for your friend. Story Your friend Amy has mysteriously vanished at Sunnyside High. 25 years ago, there was an accident that left part of the school burned and abandoned. Follow Amy to the abandoned area, but beware, something seems to be lurking there with you. Unravel the mystery of the accident and find Amy by exploring through the decrepit halls, cluttered classrooms and more. So here goes. This is a demo. My friend Amy was supposed to meet me in the library after school, but she never showed up. I searched and found her wandering into a section of the school that was burned down years ago. I know I'm not supposed to go in here, but something is up with Amy and I have to find her. Here we are. Looking real nice so far. Whoa. Suddenly, Silent Hill. I know you're here somewhere. Where are you? I'm going to find you, my little starlet. Bloody hell, this is awful. Get out of here. Is he gone? I'm gonna assume so. Inhaler. This will be helpful if my health is ever low and my lungs need some relief. It's the letter I was going to give to Amy, but she never showed up. I really poured my heart out in this letter. I hope I can give this to her. Mrs. Bowers Journalism Class. This locker is locked. Looks like I can open it with the right combination. I have no idea what that is yet. It's a clipboard that reads, Please provide your birthday so we can include you on the monthly birthday celebrations. Oh. Cake will be provided at each celebration. I need to know the date then. It's a tube with a poster in it. The poster is for a school play. It has a picture of two people holding hands. Looks like someone is behind this couple. Kind of creepy. It's an old projector. Looks like the power switch still works. But the light bulb inside isn't turning on. I bet I could fix this projector with the right materials. It's a school newspaper. It reads, Sunnyside News, the premiere of the Phantom of the Opera will be coming this fall. We interviewed the teacher in charge of production, Mr. Crane, about the show. I can't believe this school had a newspaper and drama club. 
they didn't bring these back after the fire. Additional inhaler. It's a handwritten note. Did you hear? Amber got sick, so now Chrissy is getting the lead in the play. Of course, we get skipped over for the part. I convinced Bobby to steal the drama room key so we can ruin her costume. He's such a sucker for me. I guess bullies exist in every generation. Well, let's brute force it. 0823 This isn't it. O three one oh not this one either. O nine fifteen. Not correct. O five seventeen. That did it. Jackpot, I'm in. It's a key with an engraving that says drama class. Of course. Let's see if the other door works. I'm not sure where the drama class is. Oh, here it is. The door is locked. Luckily, I have just what it needs. It fits. It's a script for a school rendition of The Phantom of the Opera. On the cover, it reads, Staring, Amber. The name Amber is crossed out and written above is Chrissy. There's a bunch of old scripts and stuff for the theater class. There's a bunch of pictures of the students too. They look like they're having fun. Wait, is this my friend Amy? There are so many pictures of her. Wait a second. No, this can't be her. These pictures are dated for 25 years ago. Wow, sure looks like her though. Weird. Was that a mistake? It's a photo of the school, but there's something odd about it. It looks like there's something behind. What the? There's a panel. It's, it's shot tight. I'll need some way to remove these screws. Looks like a bunch of awards for the drama teacher. Must be old since we don't even have a drama class anymore. This one says, Teacher of the Year. There's a yearbook snippet for the dr Dreamy's teacher, and it goes on. It's a tube with a poster. The poster is for a school play. It has a picture of a girl on a stage. Holy fuck. Oh no, it's that thing again. I need to find a way out. I need to sneak past without letting it see me.
Made it. Oh. The poster is for a school play. It has a picture of a hanged man on it. Looks like a poster used to be up here. There's a placard underneath that reads a dazzling performance. It fits. Looks like a poster. A tragic beginning. That works. I assumed Hanged Man is the end. The poster is for a school play. A skull and a boy's face on it. Spied lovers meeting. A fate split between death and love, that's not correct. Oh. That did it. I did it. The doors are open. This must be where Amy has gone. I hope she's okay. End of demo. I bloody love this game. Wow, I would love to see the full version of it. I thoroughly enjoyed this experience. Nothing felt out of place for me. And the environment was great. I loved the graphics as well. It really sucked me in. Well, if you want to try this out for yourself, the link will be in the description. And that's it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And have a good day. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.